The next question is what asanas I should perform? If you are observing this video, you might be asking uh, what there are 84 asanas explained in the Hatha Yoga Pradipika. Which asanas I should perform for my well being, for managing myself? To, to answer this question, the best reference is my body constitution. The best reference is what is the type of vikriti I generally have? It is vata, pitta or kapha. I am not calling it prakriti because to understand prakriti is very difficult. What, us, what we assess through the questionnaires or through some other instrument is the vikriti at that stage. So, what is the vikriti I am having? What type of vikriti I am having? That should be the uh, point of reference to pick up those asanas which are appropriate for the person. So, vata type needs asana uh, the most because they are the most prone to postural distortions. Kapha type who tend to have more sedentary life, they move more slowly, they are benefited from more active form of exercise, more active form of asanas. And pitta type of people mainly need asanas to cool down their mind and cool down their energy and focusing their uh, temperatures. Let us look at the most appropriate asanas for the people with the different vikriti or prakriti. Uh, vatas, the first constitution that needs to perform asana in a way that reduces vata starting from the right mental attitude. So, vata must remember to keep their spine flexible that is the first thing that is the first rule of thumb. Then they need a gentle attitude and gradually flowing movement and that is best for them. They need to emphasize the asanas which focus on the pelvic region and colon because that is the main site for vata. And they aim, they should aim at releasing tension from hips and lumbar area. Uh, sitting posture uh, is good for vata. So, there are asanas which are performed in the sitting postures, they are generally better for them, particularly those that create strength and stillness in the lower abdomen like uh, Siddhasan or Vrajrasana. These are some of the other asanas uh, mentioned in this uh, picture, which are most appropriate for the people of the vata constitution. We can actually start from the vrakshasan, then go to uttanasan, balasan, tadasan, matsendrasan, pavanmuktasan, and uh, butterfly or kutaliasan and uh, virabhadrasan. Few other points about the uh, asanas related to vata constitution people is that spine twist like matsendasan that is very good, that is an excellent for them because that helps in removing vata from the nervous system. Uh, forward bend uh, afford immediate relief for excess vata and producing the calmness and stillness. Uh, you might remember that vata uh, prakriti people have tendency to jump from one thought to the next thought to the next thought very, very fast. Uh, back end if well grounded and done gently that can strengthen the vata feelings of the centeredness and have warming effect. That strengthens the apan and colon like cobra posture bhujangasan uh, or makarasan these are also useful for uh, people with the vata constitution. Among the standing posture tree pause that is vrakshasan that develops the stillness and balance. Uh, after asan practice uh, vata people must rest through the uh, shavasan. What are the best uh, things to be to be kept in mind while performing asana for the people with the 
fifth uh, constitution. So, putting the body regularly into the shoulder stand or the plow pose that protects the lunar principle, which is the which has the calming effect from the depleting heat of the solar principle and creates coolness and that brings the balance. So, this principle applies to people with the Pitta constitution. So, what asanas are more useful to them? A spinal twist again the mat, uh, Matsendra asana. Uh, you can also look at Marjari asana or the camel posture, these are also very good. Uh, but Pitta people are benefited by postures that aim at releasing tension from mid abdomen, small intestine, liver and that is where the excess Pitta is accumulating. So, the bow posture, cobra post or naukasan what is called boat pause, these are very useful for the people having a more predominant Pitta uh, prakriti. There are clear asanas given, uh, Yogapedia explains that as well. You can learn all these asanas uh, by observing the uh, videos of uh, Swami Ramdevji and there are many other masters who are great experts in the, uh, in the yoga asanas. Many of these asanas are also a part of common yoga protocol released by Ayush ministry and if you go to the Ayush ministry website, if you uh, look for the common yoga protocol, you can not only know how to perform that asana in a best possible way, you will also come to know that what are the typical medical situations where these asanas should not be performed. So, please uh, take help of experts or take help of the expert sites like uh, uh, sites about asanas released by uh, the organization of Sri Ramdevji as well as the, uh, the common yoga protocol explained in the website of Ayush ministry. Forward brands bring more energy to the uh, mid abdomen and that also has a cooling effect and that is why it is useful for the Pitta people. Uh, back end tend to be heating, so that must not be done for the longer duration by the uh, people with the Pitta constitution but it must be done with the moderation and must be followed by the cooling posture which are more front bending. Seated uh, twist helps in the liver and detoxifying the Pitta, so they are uh, useful for the people with the predominant uh, Pitta Prakriti. Let us look at what are the best yoga postures for people with the uh, Kapha predominant Vikriti or Prakriti. So, Kapha are generally prone to uh, high cholesterol, sometimes heart disease, they care must be taken not to overstrain their heart in any exercise program. So, that must be taken care of. Kapha should be made to do stronger exercises than they like and must be taught to challenge themselves. So, uh, the best way to motivate Kapha people is to give challenge, optimum challenge for them. Sitting asana tend to increase Kapha, so that should be avoided. More standing asanas should be performed by the people having the Kapha Vikriti. Standing posture combined with the movement and stretching are the best for the people of the Kapha constitution. Backward bend we looked at in the earlier side that is not very good and people with the Pitta Prakriti should not perform for the longer duration, but the backward bend is much more beneficial for the people with the Kapha constitution because it enhances the energy, it increases the circulation to head and where the mucus easily build up for them. So, that helps in energizing them. Forward bend which tend to contract the chest are not good for the people with the Kapha Prakriti that may cause emotional distress as well to them. So, the asanas which can be particularly helpful for the people with the Kapha constitution are Vrakshasan or Ardha Chandrasan or the uh, Adhomukha uh, uh, Ashwasan or uh, Palakasan, Matsendrasan, you must have noticed that is that is useful across the three constitution and Dhanurasan. Uh, Kapha asanas can be more energizing, can be more active. 
So, this table is taken from the book of uh, uh, Dr. David Frawley. Uh, David Frawley explained in great detail what are the best asanas for the people of vata, pitta and kapha. So, uh, how should be the practice? The practice for the vata people should be calm, slow, steady, grounding, strengthening and consistent. Uh, practice for the pitta people should be oriented towards cooling, relaxation, surrendering, forgiving, gentleness and diffusing. Uh, uh, practice for the kapha people should be stimulating, moving, warming, lightening, energizing and releasing. So, you can see that we all have to discover our own constitution and accordingly we need to identify the best asanas according to our prakriti. Uh, this table is really exhaustive, it gives the uh, list of the sitting postures which are best for the different prakriti. It also talks about nature of sun salutation, Surya Namaskar, this is probably the most popular asana system. Uh, vata people should do Surya Namaskar more slowly and consciously. Uh, kapha people should be doing Surya Namaskar with little more vigor. Pitta people should be doing Surya Namaskar with much deeper awareness and very gently and that can have a calming effect. In fact, Pitta people should be performing moon salutation that is called Chandra Namaskar uh, because that is more suitable for their temperament. Similarly, uh, uh, David Frawley explained what are the standing postures for most appropriate for Vata people, people with the uh, Pitta profile uh, or people with the uh, Kapha predominant profile. Similarly, uh, inverted poses which are the most useful for the people with, uh, with either of these three predominant uh, uh, prakritis. So, this is exhaustive list, uh, you, you are requested to go through it. This lecture is to build the knowledge base about asanas and how these can be great intervention for managing self and managing self means managing body, mind and our energies. This is not the yoga training. These asanas are mentioned, these are drawn from the well researched uh, sources. To learn these asanas, you need to look for other resources. Uh, these are, there are some websites which I have mentioned. Best is to take the help of some living yogi or living teacher uh, who can really relate with you and really help to see what is your prakriti, what might be the best constitution and best protocol for you and they can also help you to stretch your limits and gain the perfection in asanas. <laughs>